share some information about carbon dots, its unique properties, applications, etc. So, let's start with the introduction. Carbon dots uh, were discovered in the year of 2004, which are accidentally discovered by the separation and purification of the carbon nanotube synthesized by arc discharge method. Carbon dots are also called as carbon quantum dot or carbon nanoparticles. It have unique optical property, good biocompatibility, low toxicity and great acoustability, etc. which make carbon dot a promising candidate in different applications like biomedical, energy, imaging, etc. Carbon dots are generally a quasi spherical nanoparticle comprising amorphous to nanocrystalline and arvers consist of sp2 and sp3 carbon. It have good fluorescence property. The fluorescence property of carbon nano, nano dots could be adjusted by controlling the condensation reaction during the synthesis of um, carbon dot. Different synthesis methods. So uh, basically, nanomaterial are uh, synthesized by top-down and bottom-up approach. Likewise, in top-down method, this carbon dot uh, normally the nanoparticle are formed by breaking down large pieces of the material into desired nanostructures. So in, in the case of the carbon nano to carbon dots, this uh, there are different. Uh, Synthesis methods are available like arc discharge, laser revelation method, chemical method, chemical synthesis or electrochemical oxidation. And in the case of bottom up, um, bottom up approach, normally this um, the carbon dots are obtained from assembling molecular precursors such as any any kind of carbon sources like citrate or carbon uh, hydrate or material. Or polymer, silica, nanocomposites, etc. Any kind of uh, these uh, carbon sources we can choose, and by different uh, synthesis methods like combustion, thermal ablation, uh, sorry, combustion and uh, microwave assisted method. Thermal method means uh, hydrothermal methods or solar thermal, uh, and some other synthetic condition. We can make the nanoparticle by bottom up approach. Okay. So, uh, uh, fluorescence next uh, fluorescent properties of carbon dots. In this picture inserted, this is the one of the carbon dot means uh, that is we prepared in our lab laboratory. Uh, we prepared from citric acid. Uh, and this is a end doped carbon dot. So by hydrothermal method we prepare under UV we can see the uh, intensity of the fluorescence is much brighter. Uh, so generally uh, how this uh, carbon dots produce fluorescence property? So generally three mechanisms have been proposed such as quantum confinement effect, surface state and molecular state effect. Okay, so based on the quantum confinement effect we all know that the quantum dots um, have this same property and the pineal properties varies uh, varied sensitivity with the um, carbon dot size that means photoluminous and uh, luminous property, the fluorescence property in the case of 1.2 nanometer that means the average uh, size of a carbon dot is in the range of 1.2 it shows uh, UV light it produces uh, it will shows some UV light emission and the size of the carbon dot is around 1.5 nanometer then it will be in the range from visible emission that means uh, it emitted into the visible ranges like 400 to 700 nanometer and the larger carbon dots like a uh, quantum dots means uh, semiconductor nanoparticle with less than 10 nanometer is called quantum dot so here carbon dot also is less than 10 nanometer so here uh, if the larger carbon dot is around 3.8 nanometer 
which show the infrared emission so that uh, it is very good for the bioimaging and biomedical applications because of uh, that is a near uh, means biological window so Integration of carbon dot with 
add with others uh, like some fluorophores we can use or some other quencher means so based on the intensity we can detect this so like three category in this three strategy of the synthesis procedure we can make the carbon dog sensors okay and this case carbon dog for bio imaging so why this carbon dog is visible we already told that carbon dog have unique properties like it have a strong stable tunable fluorescence property and carbon dog has have been used in so because of this uh, property uh, we can use this carbon dogs as a bio imaging agent or in the cell lines okay so the car, one of the um, uh, researchers uh, they were directly applied in imaging imaging so they directly uh, injected uh, these carbon dots this person in sun and then they were injected into the abdominal cavity of mice and in the the peritoneal macrophages were extracted then isolated and further cultured then can observe the uh, uh, in, in the particular area okay so uh, after after later uh, uh, some time also the, there is no intensity variation so we must observe so so that also a good sign because when this uh, imaging material is interacted with the biological fluid sometimes Uh, some coaching may be happen so that time we don't get a good uh, images so after a long some time also this carbon dot based based uh, material shows a good stability that means it a uh, it make a um, uh, promising agent for bio imaging application okay uh, so watching this video tutorial i hope you may gain some information about what is carbon dot and what are the unique properties and some what are the application by especially biomedical application of the carbon dot uh, if you 